Welcome back to the KOM Morning News, and, and, and I'm joined by Chuck Boyles and, and Tony Sanchez here, who a lot of you may know from their day jobs and what they do for our community. But today they're here representing the Pittsburgh Community Theater. And gentlemen, number one, thank you so much for your time this morning. Number two, it's so nice to have a live studio interview. Yeah, great. Um, and for the both of you, back on stage doing stuff, in front of a live audience but i'm, I'm gonna yes. i'm gonna take it down a tone here pittsburgh community theater has an upcoming presentation i believe it starts december 17th yes, yes. it does it's called it's called all is calm um and i'm familiar with the story of what happened during world war one that for one day a number of nations came out of their trenches and celebrated the holiday for not even one day a matter of hours Yes. They did so in December. Chuck, the elevator speech, how do you explain all this calm to people and taking that event from World War I and putting it on stage? All is calm uh, depicts uh, what was really an unofficial truce uh, between Germany and the Allied forces along what was called no man's land. Mm -hmm. Uh, it really was not approved by leadership. It was a spontaneous act that happened uh, between the soldiers one night who basically just decided it's Christmas Eve, we're not going to shoot. As a matter of fact, we're going to uh, sing uh, songs uh, from our homelands and the two sides heard each other and they began singing together. Tony, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the spot here. Um, I knew you would. You, you, well, you and I both have children. And, yes. And, and through the duration of our children's lifetime, our country's been at war. You take this as a thespian to the stage to, do a, a, to show people what it's like for a matter of one day for nations to come together. What was that like for you? Well, I tell you... Uh being of an age, mm -hmm. like you said, of being a parent, and then you see these uh, young men who are in high school up on stage, and these were the men who were actually out there fighting. Uh, it's, uh, it's a powerful moment. It's a powerful show. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn from your character? Well, I learned that uh, even in times of great strife and battle, people can still come together, and that we truly have more that brings us together than we do that tears us apart. Chuck, from your, from your background and, and everything that, that you do, because the performances that, that I've seen, everything that you're a part of are just absolutely tremendous. What challenges did, did you run into as far as being a part of this? Uh, well, there are uh, four different uh, people, people from history that I read letters from. Uh, fortunately, they're all either English or Scottish. Uh -huh. And uh, trying to do that accent and be true to who those people were. And realizing that you're, you're reading a letter that was actually written. A real uh, letter, right? A real live letter. Yes, the entire show is dialogue that was written by soldiers there on the front line and actually a couple of poems. How did you immerse yourself in that character to make sure that you were true to what historically happened and also um, to represent the human dignity that I know you can always bring forth? Well, I've been asked to wear a kilt as a Scottish <laughs> soldier. Uh, but, and I've uh, been asked to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, of course, I had to tell my wife this and said, hey, I'm going to be wearing a kilt for this production. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, you know, her family comes from Scots anyway. She said, well, that doesn't I'll be surprise darned. me. Yeah. Uh, Tony, the challenges that, that, that you had to overcome. I know it's going to be a great performance, but for every thespian, there are challenges that you go through before you get to opening night. So this show is all a cappella. Oh, my goodness. Is it really? Right. So... You, you come out and you get that first tone and then you're off and running. And so that's the challenge is staying on pitch, uh -huh. um, listening to the other people who are on stage singing with you. So yeah, that's, it can be a real challenge. And the one thing, the, the one thing that I, I love about the two of you are your voices because you, like, when, you guys, when you guys come to the stage, they're absolutely phenomenal. 
Give us the lowdown. I know we start, I don't care who wants to give it to us. I know we start the 17th, but give me the dates and the show times. Okay, so the dates are the 17th at 7.30 p.m. at Pittsburgh's Memorial Auditorium and the 18th, 7.30 p.m. Pittsburgh Memorial Auditorium and two o'clock on Sunday. And Pittsburgh Community Theater, all you have to do is look it up online. You can also buy tickets there. You can buy them at Memorial. Memorialauditorium.org. Dot org. It's, it's that easy and it's gonna be a wonderful show. And I yes. wanna thank, and this is, this is, the, this is, this is the new. Chuck, Tony, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having us. So, see the show. And I've just gotten into the habit of doing it whenever we talk about an upcoming performance. I always want to leave you with break a leg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Be back with more KOM Morning News right after this.